actually put on here. How many total you have video on your side? I probably just have somewhere around 45. Oh, they're lazy in this case. So it's only one uh, side what you have it, not other. Oh, I actually have two, yes. What I is other two. name? What is other name? Oh, it is because uh, because uh, what is the other name on YouTube? What the we can other find name you? is Music Tech WCFP. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to get them all into one playlist, but I'm just hoping to do it. Okay, Music Tech WCFP. And then, uh, yeah, you can see. It's all the different. This one, this one is different. They separate, yeah? Yeah, here's the one I did today. So this is the Synth Basics one. This video is going to be about synthesis and kickback in any way. Okay. And then, um, <coughs> they're, they're up there. I'm going to uh, basically put all these links on in one page so you can see which ones are handy for the, for the project. So, the next thing I'm going to So, it's often you'll see that the peak, like the highest note, it will build up to something, and that peak maybe on the third quarter or around the third quarter. Which, again, you can always find something around this that breaks this rule as well. These are just rules of thumb. So, you start with a. I don't know, this could be just me actually. If you start with a crazy sound, you could get something that only works with a crazy sound. And if you're going to keep using that sound, then why not? So you can just ignore that last thing. Alright. Alright, I'm going to start with the. Um, can you show me, the, please, what difference between, between simpler and sampler? Oh, also. okay, simpler and sampler. Maybe. Right, I'm just going to do this yeah. simpler sampler. We're just write down things that I'm going to cover. Just quickly though, Julia, sampler or something. <coughs> so now, okay. So I'm gonna delete this here. Then. So what I'm doing is A has to be prominent. So this is the general feel of the track will be strong on this note. Now, it could be something literally as simple as this. Thing. So it's a piano right now? Yeah, it's just, just to get a melody going. You know, if you put that on a synth sound, it's going to sound <coughs> interesting. It's not putting delays on it. If you wanted something more complicated than that, and yeah, start thinking about contour, right? Now, what I mean by steps is the next step on that would be pentalog. Right, now, could be here or there, whether it's whether it jumps a step or not, or whether it jumps space or not, is really up to you. So that's a step up because it's dividing this black note here. Can you use the black notes, cause? I find that there's better sound off them. Actually, yeah, something well, like yeah. You can, yeah, I'm only giving suggestions just to kind of keep it into a scale. If you want to go onto the black notes, yeah, they'll have there's a bit more tension on them, all right. But if you start, if you're in A minor, it's, it's still a minor key. So, so remember I said that the peak should be somewhere on a strong note. So. Maybe the peak is going to be uh, 1.3. Okay, so what are we got now? Now, get another jump in maybe here. So how you been? You call this song? What is the name of this? I'm just doing the just trying to come up with a melody from scratch. That's all. <laughs> So it's kind of going up, jump, and going down, and that's going to jump back up. But maybe I also, 
repeat and shake. See the way this has a two and then one after. There's another repeat and shake here, so maybe I could continue on that beat. Now I want to get back to A. See the way this is, it starts on A, so I want to get back there somewhere. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to go up, drop, and back up, no, you can no, do no. it whatever way you want. Exactly, you just have, well, have it following the shape, or sometimes it jumps, and sometimes it goes yeah. steps. You know, but that, that feels like some sort of a melody anyway, yeah? But, you know, something simple is grand. Now, if you have something simple, but you also have chords going on in your track, like say, I'll just do the chord progression again to make really quick. Right, so I get something a bit more of a like instruments. These list of chords, our list of key chords, these are all in A minor. You kind of start one end and you either jump away from it and then go back to the middle. So you, you kind of go. Okay, I always do that. Let's start with. Right, so see that's the one that's going to be. I should record it because what I want to do is get it in the other screen so I can use that consolidate command. Right? So here we have it there. <coughs> so this is going to be my chord progression. And I'm going to highlight that then. Consolidate it. And now I could get another one. That could be my B section of my track. I've got two chord progression. I'll just put a loop on this. Now see the way these notes are split there. I'm just going to drag them out longer. Now this will work with this because they're both the same scale. They kind of knock into each other. If I wanted the baseline for that, then very simple. Do that bass sound here. How do you use this left side of the. What's that? How do you use this left side? Just if you come back, yeah. This left, left yeah. How do you use this? Right, what I had was, this thing was in here, yeah, this is a MIDI effect. So this is lower the pitch of everything goes through by 12 semitones. So I'm just going to get rid of that. They don't need it. But usually if you want to use the MIDI effect, how do you use a little well, bit? You just drag, exactly the same way as you use audio effects. You just drag them on. And what next? So, here they are here. So you have the arpeggiator, you have the pitch control, and you have scale effects as well. What does it mean yeah. scale effects? The scale just forces the notes onto a different scale. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. get this part up. So I'll say if we get another bass sound in. And all the bass. And again, I'll just go to A here. Now, let's say if I'm doing a simpler melody here. Another thing you can do is like get that to follow whatever your chord progression is. So, like this is A G A G. So maybe it should be D B uh, A F. So if I duplicate this, so it's like same length as this, which is what this is four bars. You now this is four bars. 
Yeah, yeah. And this is only if you want to deal with this start with this. Right? Yeah, so what did I say? If I press hold here and see it better. Right, so it's take B D, I go B D and then F A, right? So I'll change these to B D. The second one was FA. And then these should be, that should be F. And then last one is uh, CA. Okay, so this should be going to C. And then this should be LA. So let's drop that there. This should be. in this very kind of melodic way. I mean, you could just start with drums and work your way past that, Jeff. Like I said. <coughs> so remember, you have three weeks to get this done, yeah? So you have tonight and the, the next two weeks. So, to, to make this done, you mean exactly my own project in, the, in this way? Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, it's one, and what is the next project? What well, are you... This is the last project. So how many total? This is this is where well, you've done the mixing exercise, which is twenty percent, and then you have this project, which is forty percent, and then you have the exam, which is forty percent. And in exam, which project? What's that? In exam, what kind of project? Any? No, the exam will be a, pa a written a paper exam. It's only writing. Yeah. So I'll be covering the information for the exam uh, <coughs> next week and the week after. So in, after two weeks, so you want to see project in a company? Yeah, yeah the, the project should be finished now by in three weeks, like tonight, and two more classes. Did you have holiday in a two weeks later? Um, yeah. 19 p.m. And I could just start with just start with maybe uh, an eight away kit. 19 p.m. Actually, I find the problem with when I find the nice music, I caught some samples in a drum rack in a in a uh, audio from audio. So drum rack with audio, yeah. I cannot uh, find when I copy it and when I uh, save yeah. save all samples. It was looks like I, I changed name of samples and I did not see in a folder. So yeah, maybe can you show exactly good because when we find a lot of samples small in drum yeah. rack and after maybe I would like to exchange for other my project and if I miss it, maybe can you show one time? Did you save it from here into the? Into oh. the no, actually, can you maybe show a second time how to do it, please? Okay, well I'm gonna do this first, okay? Yeah. Yeah, not 90 BPM. And it's going to be obviously something strong on the offbeat here. It could be a snare, it could be a clap. There's always going to be a kick on the one. So, what's house for well, every first? House is that. That, Jeff. Yeah. House right. is, and you might have the clap or a snare, and you're, you're probably going to have. open the hi-hat and then you can switch it up then by throwing so you have that drum beat right oh so yeah. you're usually 128 bpm is that yeah for a house anything from 110 to 125 I suppose right you could go even slower as well now with this Now, put it in ghosty 
breathe in. You know, that's pretty basic there. Maybe add some toms. Sounds like something out of step up to the street. So, then I just start talking in case. Sorry, acoustic kit. It's yeah. just come coming itself, or you f you just uh, oh, drop it. Library. Acoustic kit. So that's again very kind of old school. You can hear it boom, ba, shortly bit, ba. Yeah, shortly bit is hard to kind of get decent. And then acoustic kit. Classic thing with hip hop is to just compress the little data to. If you want to go all authentic, there's a vinyl distortion one that you can stick on it. <coughs> so that's a kind of a good starting point. <coughs> Obviously, you know, hip hop is all over the place beat wise, so experiment you want to get you everywhere in that. But the tempo is probably a good place to start for around 90. Do you know the way you were saying with the melody and if you want different, if you have one melody line, then yeah. you want to add in stuff. Is it just, is it, can you just do anything? Um, well, if you do anything that sounds good, as long as it sounds good anyway. Okay. You know, now what, what other change are you talking about? Do you have with the drums you have to change to every time? Oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, you could try that if you want something that develops. No, know? I mean, like with melodies, you don't have to change. No, no, no. On that rule for the drums, that was only kind of. Just so you have drums that will kind of flow. Alright. Yes. Yeah. Selma, can you show the samples how to properly to save them? Because okay, I, so I, ca let's I cannot do it. Say, um, Small samples, what I do myself, yeah. Okay, like going to record it in the studio, yeah? Anything, just when I have it, I, after I, I cannot find them. Okay, so here is the sample master project. No, actually, from drum rack. I mean, when they are in drum rack. Well, that's I, what I'm going to do, yeah? Yeah. I'm just going to do one, yeah? So let's say I right, start a MIDI track. Now I have a drum rack. Let's pretend they have all sorts of stuff in it. And uh, let's say, let's get a sound here. Right, so this is the sound it's going to be. Right, everything that I'm rushing through here, that's all in a video online anyway. Right, so let's say that's going to be the sound. Now once I put that in here, No, I can name it. You name it, Jeff. Yeah, I name it, but after I cannot find his name. But yeah, see, so it doesn't rename the sample. Okay, the sample will always stay there. Now, if I want to save this so I can use it in other projects, you're better off kind of saving it there and then just calling it something like, you know, scrape. Now, it'll always be in that library. So if I go and open a new live set, you know, I can work away on it and I can take out scrape and be there. So that, that's in the library now, you know. Now, one other thing that is. And maybe uh, different between sampler and simpler. Sampler and simpler. Yeah. Uh, it's a layout difference. You see, simpler as one panel. And they can both do the same job, but this sampler has better layout 
and it can do multi summons. Yeah, see, it's got this window here. Now we don't have time to get into this today because it'll just take too long. But basically, you can set zones for the sample. So say all the notes from C1 to C2 are one sample, and the notes from C2 to C3 are another sample. Because you know if you play something higher on a keyboard after you sample it, the way it shortens, yeah? So that'd be a disaster. So you can never just use one piano sample for the whole thing. So usually what you have is zones. Like if I go to sample, sample instrument, and say mallets. Okay, I'd like this then. Right, so. Now, if I go in here, there's. Yeah, so it's velocity switch, this one. See where that line's coming in? So I get a different sound depending on how hard I hit it. Damien, how do you turn this on if you're looking to. Oh, you just get the switch back. Can you do, can you do switch back? It's, it's saying it's, 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 it's on. Yeah, yeah, that should be on. Do you get a yellow square up the top corner? No. Joe? Yeah, no, but controls oh, yeah, here yeah. to this. Like, say if I have from MIDI keyboard to Ableton. Say if I just draw something on here, and I just kind of duplicate it both sides. Right. So what I do is I click this, then pick the first one I want to select, then turn the first dial up here. Then I click the second one. Pick the second dial, third one, third dial, fourth one, fourth dial, and I can do the rest of them if I want, or I can do the one underneath, I can click basically anything, so I could click say the volume one, I could click then the, the reverb and the send. So mm -hmm. what, the only on me then is just to remember what I did. So I know these are the first four from the top of the device. Can you do it with a launch pad as well? Uh, you can, yeah, yeah. No, I haven't actually said I haven't done it on my launch pad, but I believe we can as a user panel where you can do that. So, now, if I turn the oh. dials then, this will all move. Now, if I want to record that into the other screen then. And actually, if I have one audio and other audio, I would like to con 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 contact together them. But maybe one is a very uh, big velocity and other it's a very like soft. So how can I automatically make the same level of the sound? If they maybe I don't know what one, it's huge sound, other it's very small. And if you if you open it up and show me, then I, I can I can make it All you need is one that you design the sound yourself. <clears throat> For all the rest of them, you can use presets. You know, or you can design them all yourself. It's up to you. But at least one of them has to be your own work, where you demonstrate your knowledge of synthesis. Because we covered that in class, so that's one of the things you're going to be testing. So for media, for audio. For audio, uh, we'll go around to that now. There should be one sample based instrument that the student has similarly made themselves. So, do you remember in class when we made those drums? Uh, okay. Okay, so there's the 1A say, sample. Master. 
metronome, maybe like this. Yeah, so if I have metronome and something uh, middle, middle, not not fast, not slow, yeah. But also, uh -huh. if you're going to do something like that, yeah, you have to also be aware that of your marking scheme. Yeah, to you know? use it. So you'll have to, yeah. So you still need a synth sound. You need to have, you know, uh, something using the samples from Johnstown and that. So you could. You know, that could be so, for example, uh, I can go to instrument and mm -hmm. to find the any piano. What what is yeah, in here yeah, yeah, yeah. and to play? Yeah, yeah. And the records. And then you can have another channel then that uses something to do with the synth. You know, to use as a channel with a MIDI. Yeah, like another. Like if you had the piano there, you could have say another a synth in here and maybe some notes playing on the synth. Yeah, yeah, for different sounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So synth, you mean? Uh, I will go into. Oh, you know. Yeah. So in in a pl in plugins. In plugins, yeah. So so right now and here I have Blockfish. I can use this Blockfish. Yeah, but Dominion. they're they're not all synths though. Only this one and the noise maker. So th this is the one I've showed you how to use. <coughs> so that would be the best one to use. This one. So actually, we could use in in here in a class only only tab because it's no other synths. Well, does this one or the noise maker or does the ones in Ableton? But I haven't shown you. Which one in Ableton? Um, instruments? instruments. Yeah. But so if you go to analog. Analog, yeah. But the thing is, I haven't taught you how to use that, so. Would you yeah, be able but to actually, it's each chance to to find the YouTube. Okay, but so it which might slow you down. Which which other symbols? So in analog, you have fewer of them, yeah. Yeah, but you're not. These are all presets. Yeah. So you're not presets. allowed to use that. Those. So you'd have to drag analog out. From there, so if you just just drag it out there, yeah. So this is like the start sound of analog, so it's just going to sound like a very. Um, and presets, what I mean, I, I can find these presets and. Uh, you see, you can use those presets as long as you have one sound so that you've designed and yourself. And where I drag these presets, I drag presets when I want it for a still for another. For a different channel, yeah, yeah. For, or for a different channels. For a different channel, but. Yeah, you can use those if you want, but you have to have one sound that you designed yourself. So this sound, it's not I designed, but I need no. some sound that I designed myself. Exactly, that's a preset. Because it's preset, so you're not happy with presets, so better not no, to use no. them. Because you need to show, because we spent some time on designing synths, you need to show that you remember yeah. that. And for example, analog and uh, co it's not? Collision, that's a different type of synthesis. It's obviously. also Toza. It's also. That's, um, yeah, so that's, we haven't covered that, so I haven't taught you how to use Collision. That's, see, this is work, analog works the same way as the Taluno, but collision yeah. is what's called a physical modeling synth, so we haven't covered that. Uh -huh. And the operator you told we also don't. Well, that's, we, that's we, another, that can be we also quite don't. similar. It's so, you know, because they have oscillators yeah. and filters and envelopes, you know, uh -huh. so we have covered that, you know. To, to create on, 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 okay, no idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is in not in a drum. But I cannot hear it here. When I try to hear, oh, I, I don't hear it. Where, where is the sound again? Where it's did you find it? If you go back, it's audio. Yeah, this one. We said oh, no. beautiful song. Okay. It's full song here. Yeah. So you just want to loop this part? Is it's it? ready looped and it's ready uh, consolidate. Okay. Let's just to see if it's. Let's just see. I'll just solo this channel. You, you're listening, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's now coming, yeah, I can hear small piece here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But it's full song here yeah? now. Ah, loop, loop here. Yeah. Um, and did you, like in the drum rack, do you just want the bell part? Is and it? actually, I have few more, few more. It's uh, next small piece, small. Oh, hang on a sec. So I can use it. But I can quote it now because if ah, okay. I can quote it now, yeah, if you touch. Mm -hmm. See the thing about this one, it's always going to have the full beat. I mean, you could have like yeah, for extra, yeah, for a, for a. Mm. But I like starting from a. Uh, oops, like because it's so nice. Okay, well, let's let's see what you could do. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of samples from uh, Consolidate. Mm -hmm. Beautiful sound, yeah. Okay, that's kind of there, isn't it? You could speed this up and slow it down. I have an, it's C minor, my piece, what oh, I play, okay. so I should be not far away from C minor. I mean, it's a little bit off, I think, is it? Damien, can you? I found one that I like and can you record it into the 
What does it mean, the tune? What's that? What does it mean, the tune? Uh, the tune, it just means make the pitch lower, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because when it plays slower, then it might play in time, because it sounds a little bit off to, uh, out yeah, of time. Yeah, out of time because why? I th well, actually, yeah, this 120 it's in here. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's yeah, I suppose it's in time. Yeah. No, no, I don't think you need to detune it actually. Yeah, so keep that at zero. Mm -hmm. So, is this what you wanted to do? Like, is this? No, yeah, just uh, I did not understand how to uh, put through oh, to, to trigger it. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's struck and so I see it. So now you can yeah? bring it back in there. Also. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to play it from there, it all depends if you want to work on this screen at the start. It might be a good idea, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. Also, very difficult questions. And here, uh, I try to record on here MIDI, but, like, I have MIDI, for example, yeah, I have a MIDI. Mm -hmm. And when I try to record, so actually how are, from here I can record? Because when I, I use a button, or uh, when I use this button, it's not come true on here okay, to record. Okay, now, so what you, you inserted a new MIDI track. If I want, yeah, to have... Yeah, but like, say, you've got an instrument on this one, so... No, but it's not nice sound, this one. I think uh, uh, any of uh, operators nicely. Okay, this so is if you find sound. the sounds that you want to use on it. Yeah, it's just was an instrument. Yeah, any piano, piano sound, any piano. Yeah. Um, analog. I think it was analog and piano. Sounds, piano. Yeah, and uh, any of the accordion actually very beautiful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll put it over this one, or I'll put it on MIDI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you're recording into here, yeah. Yeah, but it's not coming when I try recording. It don't record. Okay, so. Yeah, you might have to put a record on up and, here. Uh, yeah. And, uh... Oh, no, that, that, oh, the metronome. Yeah, metronome. Oh, but you have your drum beat now, so... Your drum beat will, will be your metronome, you know? Oh, okay. So I can hear it, yeah? Yeah, it should be. And, uh, so. how can I start now, so... And if I want to play in the same time? What's that? So, when I hear the music, how can I start to record in the same time and to play? Because okay. I, I can play here, yeah? Okay, so... It's not, try, it's not try sound coming. Okay. I didn't hear something. We do an accordion, yeah? But, yeah, but it was record, yeah, it was record. It's, oh, outer, it should be outer out here, yeah, outer. Yeah. When it's outer, it starts record. Yeah, so okay. I can, uh, I can, with the metronome, no? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's going so. Yeah, so it's coming in there now anyway. Delete, yeah, and some idea with an interval, oh. yeah, inter few intervals with an uh, instrument, uh-huh. So now it's coming, because of yeah, the it's outro, coming, it's yeah. coming. So Yeah, it's probably easier to do it in here, all right, because you just like... With the same one? Yeah, it's the same one there, you, you know. So. But why easy? Because it should be the same, why, why, why it's more Well, easy? it's the only difference with this one is yeah. that you have to press this record up here yeah. as well, as well as having the track armed. So, from here I can start and I can hear all the music, but if I start from here, I will not listen to the rest of the music. No, if you do from here, you can just play along with this. If, so you just press one, play on yeah, the clip, one. and then you can, that'll loop as long as you want. So when I want to start, I just play. In. Yeah, you just click in the, into that circle. Yeah. And it's starting with yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, a lot of information, thank you. And I think, yeah, I need it. I have, I got it there. Yeah. Uh, see, if it sounds okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Oh, it's very loud. Uh, actually, if I would like to listen only to this one, but it should be. This melody, I hear drum coming. Oh, you hear the drum? Okay, so... I didn't see where it's a drum. See, this is turned off, look. Hmm? The, the channel is turned off. See the, the mute button? I, I don't understand what it is. See, that was turned off. See, and all you're, you're hearing the drum because the drum has come from here. Where is the drum coming from? From here, this one. 
A, with drum, yeah, but okay. I don't want to hear it, yeah. Okay, so now you just turn that off and turn that back on, so now you can hear it. So, but why, um, but if I make a solo, for example, yeah, so I will not hear the rest, yeah? Yeah, yes, yeah, so that should work. It was working? coming from the, okay, so I didn't, because I did not open it, oh, I did, I can't ah, see yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, you know, you just missed the mute buttons there, that's all. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you one more question, please? Uh, yeah. Because you use sound when I play, mm -hmm. but uh, I think uh, in w what difference between uh, when I want to use instrument and I play in a MIDI or what I use as sound oh, in a MIDI? What the, the difference will the be? The sound is all the same things that are in the instruments. Like if I see percussion one. Yeah. And if I go into the sounds, well actually percussion one is probably a bad one to start with. So if I go to like electric, mm -hmm. piano, bells one high. Mm -hmm. We're going to sounds, piano, bells one high is there as well. It's the same, so they... It it's exactly the same, but it's just, this is like all the piano sounds. So how can I drop to MIDI? So for example, if I have MIDI, how can I drop from sound, MIDI yeah, the and same play? Same way you do it always. So like this one, for example, if it's different, so I can go to sound and drop with bell yeah, to and electric. Yeah. And how can I... I did not feel here now, so see. the next. Have a look, you've soloed this one. So take the solo off. Okay, so solo off. Now I hear. I don't need to have a MIDI clip, no? Uh, yeah. If you I want to draw in the, if you want to draw in the notes with the pen, you do. But if I want to play this, if it will be enough it, you to just hit the circle. Yeah. And then, and then if you double click that, you mm -hmm. stop that and double click in there. See, so there's the notes I did. So I can see what I play. Yeah, exactly, and you can fix it then. If it's Do I record now also? I, it's it's not record now, yeah? No, it's not recording now, I so think you need to, do, need to go through those steps again. And if I, if I record something and I like to record on, <coughs> how do I do a record? But it should be longer. How do how can I go on top to record on here? Oh, so you want to record? Well, just like, say, it's that's still recording now, so I should be able to... But oh, hang on. oh, yeah, 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 right, okay. See this plus button here? Yeah, plus, plus button, oh, yeah, on. plus no, button. I'm wrong, this one. Plus button, yeah. Plus, so yeah, it's this it's circle plus. here, this is the overdub mm -hmm. one. So, and red circle. Yeah, yeah, that's the red circle. Yeah. So wonderful, so red circle and uh, yeah, plus yeah. in the bottom, lovely, okay. Very good information. <laughs> Thank you. No matter. Thanks, uh -huh.